If I abused anything, it was probably the one night I did five grams of coke and a gram of MDMA and thought I was going to fucking die that night. So, <laughs> <laughs> heart was pumping, I was sweating like a pig, and I'm thinking, fuck Lee, I think you've overdone it. This could be it. Yeah. I'd bend over and my chest would get tired. I'm thinking, oh, you might have pushed, <laughs> you might have pushed the envelope here. <laughs> okay, so um, you're saying you take small doses. Mm hmm. The internet is saying you're giga dosing. Well, right is now it, I can tell you, my friend, give me some here. That um, is it the test decanate one, the one that's slow released. You can take it once every two weeks. Yeah. Well, I've had that at home for a while now, and I think the last one I took was like eleven days ago. It's like I've got it there, and I'll take it like like TRT dose. It's only two hundred milligrams. I take every. I was taking every ten days, but. Well, probably, like I said, sometimes I forget. But if you were on these massive doses and from when you're 13 mm, or whenever they, now, <laughs> whenever I they... Might, <laughs> I might need a kidney transplant by now or have some other issues. So for someone that's been hard, like taken massive doses for 40 years, mm. is there anyone who, who else... You know, you, you, when you started taking gear at 13, is there anyone else in the <laughs> world that, that's still around? Yeah, no, but it doesn't it, have health problems. Yeah, so everyone's saying you've you've been on the, the mm. juice for massive doses since mm. 13. Um, he just got good re genetics and receptors. That's yeah, why. so and, but pretty much everyone else I knew that did take a lot of doses, just sadly, like Tom Prince or even Flex said he took a lot. And uh, but even sometimes too, they have hereditary problems, yeah. and then the large doses on top of that just speed up what probably would have naturally happened. But no, but like I said, when it came to steroids, I never abused it. Now, like I said, I, the most I took once was eight hundred when Trevor from nuclear nutrition at the time said hey lee you should try a larger amount and for like three weeks i took 800 milligrams a week and i felt shit so i went back to 400 so like i said i never never abused that i said fuck if i abused anything it was the, probably the one night i did five grams of coke and a gram of mdma and thought i was gonna fucking die that night so <laughs> <laughs> heart was pumping i was sweating like a pig and i'm thinking Fuck, Lee, I think you've overdone it. This could be it. Yeah. I'd bend over and my chest would get tired. I'm thinking, oh, you might have pushed, <laughs> might have pushed the envelope here. So, yeah. Yeah, so in the comments, like, let us know who, who, who else on this planet has taken massive doses of gear, f com you know, for That's 40 right, years. Yeah. And I gave massive doses to my mother too, remember? A and, and, um, and, and still, you know, you're still... Like you, you're a bit, you've put on a bit of weight now, but it wouldn't take much to get it off. You should only understand why, because I've started taking that little bit of test, but, but lately I've probably only eaten two meals a day, and like a month ago I was 92 kilos, now I'm like almost 102. I put on 10 kilos <laughs> and I'm eating a bit less just because I took a bit of test, I've actually, I'm getting ready for the Arnold. So, and the other thing I was going to say um how long do you reckon if you were if you could be taken somewhere focus on your training diet mm. that you could because i've seen how quick you start getting into shape how how long do you reckon you could go from 102 down back down the to contest 90? shape yeah so i guess my point is I, I could easily like in two three weeks if i if i went like strict clean eating yeah. And up my cardio. Well, I just started back boxing. I did that this week for the first time in months because of my shoulder where I had the torn yep. tendon. So that was like... <laughs> but, you know, if I got back into cardio and eating clean, within two, three weeks, I'll be back down to 92 easy. So my thing is, for years you've copped the, yeah, he's taken gear and stuff like that mm -hmm. and then when i got when i was heavy and got in lean shape i was taking dnp he's taking all these secret fat burners it wasn't the three hours of cardio every day and eating clean and that so how much would you charge if someone i was going to say um surely there's um someone out there or a group of people can pull together that, mm -hmm. that don't believe you would you be prepared, you know, to go somewhere for four weeks? They pay for all your expenses, yep. Plus, give you a weekly wage, yep. Um, would you go somewhere? And they and they that, just give me the food, yeah, yeah, and the gear. yeah. Keep you isolated. Mm -hmm. Don't give him um, 
like and, a male hostage by them. Yeah, yeah. And, and would you do it um, mm-hmm. 100% natty? Mm-hmm. Just to see what the... Easy. Okay. But shit, I, I was, like I said, when I was training, I was more natty than I was on, even when I was professional. Like I said, I'd go, go on a cycle for 12, 16, 12, 15 weeks for the show. That'd be like February. And then if I'm not competing to the end of the year, I wouldn't take anything till... I started dieting July for the Olympia or something, so... Yeah, so, okay, so... Being that is easy, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, let's just, um... Like, it's not... You're not going to, like, demand, like, millions of dollars. No. Like, if someone's got the balls... And got the money. Um, it, like, talk's cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, surely there's some um, ballers no, out the there. Because I've had people that have lived with me, like, even Mikey Blonde. When I got ready for the contest and he saw what I can hear tell people, even Delette. I've lived with Lee. I'd see what he ate. I saw what he took. Oh, he took more when you weren't looking. I was like, oh, fuck, you can't. Even people that have lived with me for over a year, because Mike Yablon lived with me for 12 months, get ready for the 2000 Night of Champions. And he saw when Harney gave me this big drug list of like eight different drugs. I said, I ain't fucking doing that. I'll take like three of them. And he'll tell people, Lee barely took anything. Even Kathy, when I was married, she would laugh. She goes, I take more than you. And she will tell people, oh, he, he sneaks stuff. He must be taking stuff when you're not there. She's like, no, I see what he takes. He just takes it in front of me. So that's, that's the thing. It's like anything. I think it's like that mentality. If I can't do it, you can't do it. Or they feel like when I do seminars, if I sit there saying, I look like this and I'm only taking two to three hundred. And that person sitting there is like, well, fuck, I look like shit. I'm taking a thousand. He's got to be fucking taking more to look like that. If I'm on a thousand and I'm not half his size, they like I said, they forget about the consistency year after year. They forget yeah. about the genetic side, the mental side. And like I said, I've never had that mentality where I can't do it without it. Like I said, I preferred to be off it. I hated taking it. Whereas I've got friends who, when they come off it, they their eating goes to shit. Like when they're on it, they'll be like eating six meals. They'll be busting their ass in the gym going heavy. As soon as they come off the cycle... They cut back their training, they cut back their eating, and then they lose half their gains. So it's like, what's the point? I never hardly lost anything when I come off. I'd lose a maybe a little bit of fluid if I was eating a lot of shit food, and I cut the, cut back a bit on the shit food. But you know, but people like now, it's like I'm not on nothing, so I'm just going easy. It's like why you should be going the same. That's why when people say when you train, it's a difference between training when you're on the gear and off the gear. It's like no, I train exactly the same recovery you might be a little bit different but i said as far as training wise i trained exactly the same it wasn't like i trained any harder because i'm on the gear or when i was off the gear i trained any less i trained exactly the same whether on or off because people think oh i'm such and such how do you think i should train because i'm a natty i'm like what (laughs) difference does it make if you're a natty just fucking train hard all right so you just think um all these people it's time to put up shut up Mm-hmm. Um, if you, if, um, when, when you accuse, um, someone exactly. of lying, there's your chance. It, it's a great business opportunity. Imagine, mm-hmm. imagine having leave for four weeks, training, dieting, the, 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 the are amount gonna, of, are they going to chain me to a bed, are they? Yeah, <laughs> the amount of videos, oh. um. You know, you you you. They probably get it, sick of me after four weeks. They'll be like, "Fuck." We no, can't it's take actually it. like a bit like you. You know, it's time you could you you could pr- mm-hmm. make bodybuilding history. And they can actually bring me my meals and make sure. Yeah, so I I, I, I would do it myself, but then no one would trust. Um, like you, so that, they can get me like a nice hotel room, and they can be in an adjoining room, so they know. I was going to say, like, go, um, you know. In Australia, I'd take it as you know some country town. Yeah, but it's just a gym. Gym, yeah, like yeah, a motel, yeah, and motel, it, yeah. and just go. Yep, that's always it. With, with him all the time. Mm-hmm. There's no nightlife to go to. Yeah, it's just yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. And don't tell anyone where mm-hmm. you've gone during um, the day. All you do is get to sit by the pool at the motel. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. And mm. and um, somewhere like Broken Hill again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke back mountain, Broken yeah. Hill, somewhere like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, just go there. Isolate mm-hmm. him, or you know, someone might have a, a farm and they've got a um, a gym out there and a the gym out there. There's no like they know everything that comes in and out, mm-hmm. and you know you're just there training. Mm-hmm. 
Man. He's getting up through the night. He's fucking sucking on the cow's milk. Yeah. <laughs> no, the bull's milk. <laughs> yeah. He's getting extra protein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught him jacking off the bull. <laughs> he was rubbing it all over him. Yeah, now. yeah. So, yeah. no, definitely. Like He's in the hen house getting all the eggs. I saw him. He's got, <laughs> got extra protein. So, yeah, it's just getting to a point where um, – both things can't be true. You- I used to say that back in the day. I used to say, listen, if I even had the money, I'd say, listen, I would take songs. They're like, if I took what you are taking, I could. I said, look, if I had the money, I'd, I'd get you to come here for like five weeks, eat the exact same thing yeah. I'm eating, take the same drugs I'm eating, taking, and see if you fucking look like me, if you think that's what it is. But Yeah. No, look, any of those things. Because, yeah, it's just, um, you know, you're, you're either going to... Um, it's a win-win for whoever does this you're either mm-hmm. going to make you know like one of the biggest bodybuild scanners they're, they're going to expose you you'll wither mm-hmm. away to a um, a, um well, stick if, figure. if they're multi-millionaires they can like put me up and pay for me or even have me monitored for a whole fucking year no drugs for a year just food and train and I look exactly the same. I'll probably give you actually better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fucking! It must be he's sneaking something somewhere. Yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. No, well, that's up. That's onto them. It's yeah. like if, you know, as I said, if you're on a farm somewhere in the middle of nowhere, mm-hmm. the postman's, um, you know, <laughs> like he's going to put a, put an ankle bracelet on me so they can monitor me. <laughs> Once I go outside the fence, beep beep. Oh, well, that's when, you, that's when you're staying at Matt's place. Yeah. <laughs> Got the electric fence. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll be you, digging you, a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Lee? He's fucking gone again. Yeah. Through the night, I'm fucking digging tunnel with a spoon to get out. No, you know, no one escapes from that place. No one. <laughs> It's all concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The only way you get He's out got of the there. the concrete 10 feet down into the dirt. Yeah, the only way you get out of there is in a suitcase mm-hmm. in pieces. <laughs> in a barrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Snowtown. <laughs> Yeah. But his barrel just had a little hole in the side still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, as you're decomposing. <laughs> he lines it up just right. <laughs> and get a few more stabs in, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you say mouths on this side, assholes on that side. He just rolls the barrel. Yeah, no, no, yeah, got like a little dolly yeah. and spins it around. <laughs> <laughs> like a lazy Susan. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me just. Now he's still fresh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Put some bags of ice around him. No, no, he um um like heaps of salt and stuff. He oh, yeah. he pickles them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, just like a. What they put in vinegar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pickled onion or formaldehyde. <laughs> <laughs> just just get me taxidermist <laughs> and just keep me. <laughs> so there you go, there you go. Well, you um doubters, doubters, um. That's the thing, though, too, I can't understand, too. I was just saying the other day when I was talking online, the amount of young kids, I did it, well, I'd say four times max. And the last time I did it, I thought I was going to die when I took Tren. My chest tightened up that bad. I mean, like, it's like someone slammed me with a baseball bat. It was that painful. I couldn't breathe. I'm like, (gasps) so I stopped taking. I'm thinking, why would you take a drug that does that to you, for one? And I never really liked it, so I just never used it again. But the amount of kids now, I'm sure you see it on every site. What I talk about is trend. Trend this, trend that. I'm like, that's the worst fucking drug. Even for people, I think mentally for them, some of them. So I don't get the fascination with trend, young kids. I do not get it. 